Hello friends, I'm Sarah Seckham from the First Presbyterian Church of Lake Forest and welcome to another story time with Sarah. So yesterday afternoon I was at a backyard picnic and saw the most beautiful monarch butterfly floating around from flower to flower. And between the bright colored flower blooms and the beautiful weather and that regal butterfly, I couldn't help but take a moment to thank God for all, all of God's creation. And it reminded me of this book that I recently learned about called Marty's Road Trip by First Pres's very own Patricia Ensing. And this sweet book is based on a true story of a stowaway caterpillar and the compassion its human friends have on him to keep him safe and secure until he was ready to be released back into nature. I hope you enjoy as much as I did. Have a great week. Marty's Road Trip by Patricia D. Ensing. Illustrations by Blueberry Illustrations. My name is Marty. I am a beautiful monarch butterfly. I've not always been a butterfly though. You just have to hear what happened to me while on a car road trip. First, I was a small egg on a leaf of a milkweed plant in a field of flowers in Door County, Wisconsin. Then, in a short time, I became a caterpillar. One day, while I was sitting on a milkweed leaf munching away, a farmer who grew the flowers hand-picked the flower of the milkweed plant with me still on it. I ended up in a vase with other flowers to be sold at his flower stand. The very next day, a man and woman, who became my friends, bought the vase of flowers I was in and put it in their car. This was when my adventure began. I had seen cars drive past the farm, but I had never been in a car before. I sat on the leaf very still and saw fields with cows, sheep, and horses as we drove down the highway. It was a bright, sunny day with a beautiful blue sky. After a very long car ride, we came to their house in Illinois. They put the vase of flowers on a table inside their home. They did not know I was on the leaf inside the vase. So when I peeked out, they were delighted to see a cute, furry caterpillar. Me! I had new friends! After a few days, I became familiar with my new inside home, and I decided to go for a walk. I crawled off the milkweed leaf and onto a very slippery wooden table and slid across it. Whee! That was fun! Then I crawled up on a soft sofa. It was so comfortable that I soon fell asleep. I'm not sure how long I napped, but all of a sudden I woke up in my friend's hand. I was so thankful she found me because there was no milkweed on that comfy sofa, and that's all I eat. Phew. She gently placed me back on the milkweed leaf, but I was in a different vase with a soft, airy cover. My new vase was placed near the window and I could look out to see the flowers, trees, squirrels, birds, and butterflies. One day, I felt my body begin to change. I was hanging on the milkweed branch by a thin silk string. My shape started to look like the letter J and I was no longer hungry. But I was not in this J shape very long. My body changed again into a beautiful light green cocoon with pretty gold dots at the top and at the bottom. My friends decided to go on another long car ride to visit their daughter in Pennsylvania. I was happy they took me along with them so I would not be alone. Getting around in a car was beginning to be fun. The road was bumpy, but I was fine in my safe cocoon in the vase. This road trip seemed longer than the last one, but I enjoyed it very much. Along the way, I saw trees, ponds, birds, bridges, and buildings. 
but this is when my story becomes a little unusual. You see, all monarch butterflies go through these changes, but I don't think they go on vacation. Here's what happened to me next. When we arrived at their daughter's home, my vase and I were placed in front of a big sunny windows. The sun felt so warm and soothing on my cocoon. I was a little startled when I realized that their daughter had two furry animals that ran all around the house. There was a dog named Jenny who barked a lot and a big fat cat named Gables. They ignored me and I ignored them. I was glad that my friend's home in Illinois did not have these animals. I'm not sure what they would have what would have happened if they had found me sleeping on the sofa. Yikes! One night, while my friends and pets were all asleep, my cocoon suddenly opened and I wiggled out. I saw that I had amazing black and gold wings just like other monarch butterflies I had seen through the big windows. It was so exciting. I was so surprised to learn that when I moved my wings faster, I could lift off the branch even though I was still in the vase. It was so thrilling. The next day, my friends put my vase and me back into their car and to go on another long car ride back to their home in Illinois. Even though I was ready to fly on my own, they wanted me to go home with them. I was happy to stay with them to enjoy another car ride. When we arrived in Illinois, they took me to visit their neighbor's home who had an amazing garden full of beautiful trees and flowers. After they gently placed my vase on the ground, they lifted the cover and I flew high up into the air. Wow! Whoa! I could really fly with these beautiful black and gold wings. I landed on a branch near the top of a tall tree and looked down at my friends and their neighbors. Flying is amazing. Now I know why people use cars to get around. They don't have wings. I realized that it was time to say goodbye to my friends. I said thank you in my own way by dipping and waving my wings. They did not see me because I was so high up in the tree. After they all went into their neighbor's home, I flew back down to enjoy the beautiful garden. I'm very grateful they took me along on their road trips. I would have become a monarch butterfly on the farm in Wisconsin, but I wouldn't have had the exciting road trips with them in their car. I may fly into your garden one day. Look for me, and I'll definitely look for you. The end.